Barack Obama once said that the youth of our nation is our future and it is the responsibility to actively participate in politics. The vibrant youth of India holds a pivotal role in propelling various dimensions of societal development and progress. With its huge demographic dividend, India is probably the youngest democracy in the world today. However, while the average age of our demography is just 29 years, the average age of an MP is currently 63 years. In the current Lok Sabha, the average age is 54 years, making it one of the oldest Lok Sabha in our political history. Is this a representative democracy? I do not think so. In the realm of politics, sincere youth participation is necessary to introduce fresh perspectives and ideas, leading to a more responsive and political dynamic landscape. The youths should definitely take part in politics and bring in professionalism in politics and viewing it as a platform for public service rather than merely a profession or means to earn a living. It is noteworthy that 12 of the last 16 American presidential nominees from the two major US political parties graduated from either Harvard or Yale are most prestigious institutions, produce youths who seldom venture into politics. Michael Medved once wrote that the skills and determination required to get into these institutions are in themselves indicators of suitability for high offices. However, many of our young graduates from India's elite universities often consider political involvement beneath their aspirations. The problem with this very approach is this, that it has left out of politics the very group of people that plays a foundational role in our political demography. It is often said that India is young, but its leaders aren't. Therefore, my message to the youth of India, who have principles and ideas, is this. When you think about the future of India, think also of getting involved in politics. The nation needs us. Let us get leaders whom people look up to and not leaders whom we have to keep finding excuses for. If the youth of India wants our country's leadership to be full of people whom the nation admires, we will have to enter the fray ourselves. I would like to end my speech with a quote of Mahatma Gandhi, which says, be the change that you wish to see. Let this quote serve as a powerful reminder to each one of us that we all have the ability to make positive changes in our lives and communities. And I firmly believe that the MIT School of Government will nurture youths to be political leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. Jai Hind.